also Jordan here in this episode I'm going to be showing you a few of the programs you'll be needing to do this course so without further ado let's begin okay so I'm in unity 2021 right now and I just wanted to show you a few things in unity before we actually get to the proper course so first how to add a mesh then moving rating and scaling the mesh and then finally texturing the mesh so let's begin okay let's go game object 3d object there are a bunch of different settings here but 3d object is what you generally want in a 3d scene let's add a cube okay we can name this block as you see it has a default material you can open that up but you don't have access to any of these settings so what you can do is let's just make a new folder and in all the folder called textures I just made that already let's add a folder I mean sorry a material okay let's just name it block let's add a folder for that sorry material drag in our block material and then drag the block material on the block Okay, now we have a block material and we get access to this as it's our own material. And I just made in my own folder called textures, I just have this little arrow, uh, pixel arrow that I made. I changed the texture type to 2D and UI. I made, shaped everything else except the wrap mode to clamp so it doesn't repeat the texture. And I also changed the filter mode to point no filter. Originally it was linear. Basically, what that point no filter does is it keeps the pixelness because the other the filter one made it try to keep it smooth as possible. Okay, let's just try, go to material quick. I guess select on my material, and if we let's say just chose this and clicked on it and try drag it on the other one, we get on this uh we get this settings in the inspector and we want to keep these settings in the inspector but still be able to change through here so we can click on the lock icon and even if we do click on here it's not changed the inspector so we can just drag or base it and make sure to unlock it again and here we have our little cube and i also wanted to show you how to move objects so first i'll just show you some settings in this little bar here by the way you can actually move these i'll just keep them over there so we have the hand tool so we can move around in our scene and if we're very far away we can just double click on our little block and we'll get to it then there's the move tool which as you guessed moves it as you see it also changes the position here let's just set that to zero and double click on it we also have rotate, we can rotate it. The scale, the red tool, which is extremely good for UI, though it has some cool effects if you're doing it with 3D objects. And basically an all-in-one, which is called the transform tool. We basically it's like a mix of all of them. Also notice in the transform, which is the which is the setting we're going to adjust in the code to let's say move the player stuff like that they have the scale so you can change the scale individually or if you're doing this block you probably then you can click that and they'll all scale at all if you click on that little gizmo they all scale at the same at the same uh rate as all the rest so it's a very nice evening to have i'll just make them all one again and then okay i'm in visual studio code right now and why I got to get this window, by the way, is I got in this little menu and chose extensions. I just went to a special extension called C Shop Namespace Auto Completion. And it's very useful. So I've, it's, it's not crucial for this course, but it is a nice auto completion. So just enable it. So I've already enabled it. So I get the option to disable. I will not do that. But you can just install it if you want. Okay. So I'm in Blender right now. I just wanted to show you a few things in Blender. So first, I just want to show you how to add objects. I've done it before in some of my videos. In fact, most of my channel is actually for Blender. Anyway, all we do is we go Shift A. Go choose the mesh we want to make. Let's say a cube. 
And then we can go G, S for scale, G for moving, and R for rotating. And you can also change your TA if you want. Or you can go in and go to item here, and you have all the scale. And of course, generally, if you're doing a Minecraft board, by the way, you want to make it one dimensions, because that's the size of Minecraft's blocks. Okay, the second thing I want to do in Blender is let's just delete this. Let's go add mesh. And let's add a plane, let's say, let's just extrude a little higher. Click E to extrude in edit mode and click tab to go to edit mode. And then we can go to the uh, into this little spanner and go add modifier. And in the clouds, I'm actually using an array. Because if you watch my, my where I showcase my demo of my game, uh, the clouds are basically this massive circle. So I originally, they're just normal clouds. But then I made them into a circle using an array and another modifier called the curve. I'll actually show you what I did here. What I did is pretend these blocks are clouds. Let's just turn on snapping. Okay, let's go add curve. Let's add a circle curve. Okay, let's just move in a bit. Make the array longer. Let's choose the curve object as our busier circle. And we can just move the Bezier circle until it looks about right. Increase the array. And if we just made it a little, a little different, make it a little smaller the counts. And then we can just scale it down, rotate it up, wherever we want, really. I'm just clicking G now and just rotating it. I mean, just moving it a bit. And if you probably want to scale it a tiny bit just to get perfect. It's, and there we go. We and that's basically what I did with clouds. And the player would sit around here, this little area where the cursor is now. Let's just move the cursor. That's about where the player would be, and the clouds would just slowly rotate on the z axis. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is I'm just going to be installing a, a add on called NC Prep. Basically, it's a Minecraft add on, but in Blender. So Let's just go to preferences quick. As you see, we have my shortcuts here. And I've reinstalled it. So you just go install, find a zip file when you download it. You can and you can just install it there. And let's close it. If we go in now, you'll see MC Prep over here. This is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode of the course. We'll be making the first block auto-generate. Bye.